So if you guys want to learn more about which leaders to use when you're out on the water this summer, watch this next video. Hey, we're in the shop today. We're doing another educational video called Musky Fishing Basics. I'm with musky guru, leader guru, John Betty from Stealth Tackle. Okay. And he's going to go through everything that you need to know about uh, which leader to pick. Uh, for what certain application, which certain baits, all the different connectors and different styles of stuff that you have. Yeah, Jeff, we'll try to break it down a little bit and do it kind of quick so you guys don't fall asleep watching this. But, uh, you know, the leader is your most important link between, obviously, the fish and the fishermen. We spend all this money on uh, high-end rods, reels, uh, equipment, gear. Baits these days are getting crazy expensive. Um, so there's no sense in skipping on a leader. So uh, what I want to do, whether you're using ours or somebody else's, obviously, is go through a little bit and talk about a few differences that you guys help you guys out, maybe put some more fish in the boat, and help the percent, keep your percentage up in uh, leader failures, or not having leader failures. We goof that up. So John, obviously you got a whole bunch of leaders here. What, how many different materials do you have? What different sizes, different lengths? And then we can go through applications after that if you want to talk a little bit about what, what you offer in the leader line. Sure, Jeff. Basically, well, our claim to fame is the fluorocarbon leader, which in most cases, 80, 90% of the time, that's pretty much what I'm using and most anglers are using based on what we're selling. Uh, however, there's circumstances where you need to go to a different leader application based on the type of bait or type of uh, water you're fishing or something like that. So we offer our, our standard fluorocarbon leaders, which come in all different ranges of sizes, anywhere from 60 pound up to 200 pound. Uh, we're strictly talking about musky fishing here. We have our solid wire leaders, 174 or 240 pound. Again, it's going to vary depending on what type of uh, allure you're using or down to a uh, 124 pound, which we'll talk about in a little bit here. And your stranded wire leader, which, you know, old school back in the day, pretty much what was available was your seven strand wire leader. Now we have these new multi-strand leaders that are out. This is a 49 strand leader. Uh, for guys that don't like to fish with fluorocarbon, but want a flexible leader, this is a really good option. It's 49 strands of wire, so it's much more flexible and it doesn't kink like your seven strand does and doesn't have the same memory and lasts a little bit longer. So that's a nice option if you still want a flexible leader, but you don't want to use the fluorocarbon. All right, John, it's early spring. I'm mostly throwing six inch phantoms. I'm throwing the smaller hellhounds, the squirrely hellhounds, and I'm throwing glider style baits. What's the, what's the most popular leader for those types of baits? Well, Jeff, starting out early in the year, a lot of guys like to downsize their baits, especially if you're fishing in the southern reservoirs early in the year. Um, rattle baits are real popular. Uh, southern Illinois, those baits like the, the small squircos, the, the small phantoms, squirrely phantoms, uh, for those baits, those could be leader sensitive baits. So you're you're better off using our uh, shorter in length wire leaders. And a rule, good rule of thumb is try to match your bait size to about the length of the leader. That's going to help you get more action. Also, like on our spring rattle bait leaders, uh, we eliminate a snap, and you're just split ringing right to a solid ring. And what that is going to do is that's going to give those uh, little rattle baits a lot better action coming through the water because it's a speed bait. Uh, so it's going, to, it's going to entice the action of those lures. You can also take our spring leaders, add a snap to the other end, and then you got yourself a really nice small glide bait leader. Okay. So you, with the addition of a small snap to that, you have a really, really nice small glider uh, leader. Great. Uh, another option early in the year is downsizing the wire size a little bit to our 124 pound. This is our, tw it's called our twitch bait leader. It's got a small number three snap on it. We eliminate the swivel because the swivel can inhibit the action of some of these lures. So basically it's a weightless leader and it's great for the small twitch baits when you're trying to get those trigger strikes or letting those baits just kind of hang there. This is a perfect leader for that type of situation. Awesome. 
All right, so now making the seasonal progression, we're moving into summer, John, and I chip, I typically am going to be throwing, uh, we'll go with some bucktails, you know, junior cowgirls or, you know, the spanky number number eight fireballs or fire bombs. We're going to be going with medusas. We're going to be going with bulldogs. Uh, we might even be throwing some crankbaits. What should we be looking for in a leader to throw with those baits? Well, Jeff, most of the time, that time of year, guys are getting into the uh, heavier fluorocarbon leaders, especially with the bucktails, 100, 130 pound with the smaller blades. Uh, you don't really need to go heavier with those smaller ones just yet. Uh, the fish are still nipping at the backs of these things. Um, the fluorocarbon is going to give you the advantage of invisibility in the water. Also, another option is going to our solid wire leader. Or, if you're not a fan of fluorocarbon or just afraid to try it, another good option is the 135-pound 7-strand or the 175 pound 49 strand, which is very flexible wire, as I said before, and it's very thin. Um, so that helps uh, cut through the water if you're using a bait like a crankbait. Sure. These are nice because you don't have the bulkiness of the fluorocarbon, you're gonna be able to achieve a little bit more depth on those. So for the three the three styles there we listed, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with the ST174. For smaller bucktails, you're gonna to wanna to go with the ST100 fluorocarbon. And if you're going to go with the, the larger rubber baits, the medusas, the bulldogs, some egg bulldogs, you're probably going to want to go with the ST-130. 130 or even a 150 if you're getting up into the bigger sizes okay. in those rubber baits. And then, uh, and then the 135 uh, 7 strand. Those, those are pretty much going to be your three that you're going to be looking for for summer muskies. So now, John, one thing that we forgot with summer muskies was topwater baits. How can we forget topwater baits with summer muskies? I mean, they're synonymous with each other. So we're looking at um, like a Weagle or the One-Eyed Willy. We'd probably be going with uh, Pacemakers or something like a Fat Bastard or a Cannibal Junior, Dr. Evil from Lake X Lures. What, what type of leader should we be going with those? I'm assuming you're going to probably use two different ones, one with the tail rotating baits and one with like the Walk the Dog with the Weagle and the One-Eyed Willy. Yeah, with a uh, prop style bait where you have rotation, it's not a bad idea to have a swivel on your leader, whether you're using wire or fluorocarbon. Um, if it's a good balanced bait, you shouldn't even need to worry about that, really. I mean, if, if the baits, which most of those that you mentioned are pretty pretty true running uh, topwater baits. So yep. you could get away with just a standard, uh, what I refer to as our walk the dog or Top water leader, these are fantastic for your glide baits uh, or for your walk the dog style baits as well as glide baits. We eliminate the swivel on the end of the leader and you're direct tying right to the loop. And what that's doing is eliminating the weight of that swivel from pulling the nose of the bait down as it's working through the water. Um, those are a great option for any walk the dog lure. They're going get to get you that just a little bit extra pop on the nose of the bait. So for top water, Check those out. That's the ST174G wire leader. Okay, great. Great information on summer topwater bait muskies. So now we're going to move, to, we're going to transition to fall. Well, for fall, it's always big baits, slow baits, what have you. I'm going to upsize my fluorocarbon and probably run in the 150 to 180 pound range in the so floral. Generally speaking, if you're doing a husky medusa or a pounder bulldog, which are probably the two most popular baits in the fall, you're going to probably go with an ST-150 fluorocarbon or you're going to do an ST-180 fluorocarbon also. Right, and the theory behind that is those fish are later in the fall, you know, when they're when they're bulking up for the winter months and they're uh, hitting these baits, they're hitting these large profile baits hard and a lot of times they're, they're, they're coming in and hitting them head first as kind of a kill shot. So in a lot of cases they're grabbing leaders. So you want to have a heavier leader like the heavy fluorocarbon or your 174 pound wire or even bumping up to a 240 pound wire because with these bigger baits uh, the, the the size of the leader isn't going to uh, affect the action of the lures at all so you can upsize on your leader end to be, be on the safer side of things. Okay. The one area we didn't cover yet was trolling. Trolling is becoming more and more popular with everybody in you know northern Wisconsin being able to start to troll now. Minnesota guys are discovering a good open water bite trolling and obviously everybody in Green Bay has been doing some trolling for years. 
So if I'm, let's start with Green Bay. I'm gonna be trolling Green Bay. I'm gonna be using mostly smaller five inch shad style baits. I'm gonna be trolling a little Ernie, something like that, small baits. What do you think is the best leader for the situation like that? When I'm, I, no expert on Green Bay, but when I'm up there, I'm usually using a 100 pound fluorocarbon uh, leader about uh, three to five feet long. Uh, the reason for the uh, fluorocarbon, obviously, the, the clarity, so you're not seeing that, that leader in the water. However, another option for up there is, especially in the fall when you're down in that dirtier water, is to go to a stranded wire leader. And what this will help you do with some of those smaller baits is get, get a nice tight wobble out of, the, out of those lures, better action out of them, because it's thinner, and I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on the screen or not, but it's thinner than the fluorocarbon. What it, the other advantage to using wire over fluorocarbon with that thinness of the wire, it's going to help you achieve more depth as well. So it's going to get those baits down a little bit deeper for you. So that's just another option. So over there, Green Bay, I'm running the, the stranded wire and the uh, usually 100-pound fluorocarbon leaders. Okay. I'm moving over to Minnesota, and even the northern Wisconsin guys are starting to catch on to the matlock and headlock craze too. So obviously fall is a perfect time for that, 10-inch jakes. What are most of these guys running those headlocks and matlocks on? What's the best trolling leader for those? Uh, most of them are running heavy floral. However, that's when they're up in their, uh, the, the floral carbon size a little bit, getting up into like we have a 200 pound ST200T trolling leader. And I don't know if it's due to the size of the lure or the guys don't want to lose that investment. Okay. But either way, you know, you're talking about an expensive bait and the fish don't see, seem to shy away from those, those leaders uh, on those big profile baits. So, you know, uh, running those heavier leaders is going to help you protect that investment a little bit. Okay, great. All right, so John, if I'm just the guy up in northern Wisconsin, I just got into trolling, I'm just looking for a good general purpose leader, something I can pretty much use for the majority of the season, unless I'm starting to pull some of those bigger baits, what's my best option for there? Your best option is going to be our most popular trolling leader, which is our ST130, 36 inch, 130 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, by far the most popular trolling leader we have. You're going to be able to use it with just about any bait that's that's out there, um, especially in that region. It's not going to give you any problem or hang-ups or anything like that. So that ST130 and that 36-inch length is a nice length where it's manageable if you're out by yourself, uh, where you got your 8-foot rod and your and three foot a leader out, you could still get to the, to the fish and net it without having five feet a leader out. So uh, an ST-130T is going to get you done in just about any type of situation. Great. So. All right, so if everybody's not sleeping yet, because we obviously know that leader, leaders aren't the most popular thing to talk about. They're not the most fun thing to talk about. Everybody wants to talk about the latest and greatest baits. They but want to these see are, big fish. And, but these are clearly an important topic to talk about, Very especially for new anglers, because yeah. they don't know all the different stuff. So let's talk about connections on these leaders. There's two different styles. Why don't you talk a little bit about them? Yeah, actually, we got three different styles of connections that you can go with that uh, is pretty much going to be a personal preference. Um, the only snap I really offer is a stay lock snap. That's the Stringies stay lock snap. No other brand, only Stringies. There's a few other ones on the market, but Stringies are by far the best. And a lot of people have some trouble opening and closing the stay lock snaps, and I can give you a little bit here, hopefully, to help you out. Basically, you're pushing away the circle with your thumb as you lift and pull it back down through the circle. You put your bait on, same thing. Push the circle away from you. Hopefully that shows out on video. It's that quick and easy. Uh, some people have problems with the stay locks and they're looking for another option. Well, Stringies came out with another option and that's called their fast hatch snap. Now, a few things with these fast hatch snaps that you gotta remember is, number one, the pound test on these is a lot lighter than a standard stringy stay lock snap. So you got to keep your eye on that wire and make sure it doesn't come out of form or that it pulls away from the metal. And the way these work is there's nothing to open and close. Take this bulldog here and you see there's an end on the snap. Hopefully you can see that. And you simply put it on your bait. Once you hear it click, it's on to take it off. So you're changing baits that fast. Personally, I like them trolling more than anything because there's a constant force pulling against that and the bait stain at the back of it. 
uh, casting as long as you have a large enough loop on a lure they're okay uh, bucktails with a thin wire I would stay away from with them but that's the fast hatch snap that's an option if you have trouble with the uh, stay lock snaps and then one last option that we offer is probably the best connection where you're going to have the least amount of failure with and that is a solid ring instead of a snap on a leader. The drawback is that you're constantly having to split ring your bait on and off. However, if you do it long enough, you're changing a bait without thinking about it. Right. Keep a couple pairs of split ring pliers handy. Um, by far, this is going to offer you the most secure attachment to your lure is a solid ring. Two drawbacks, you got to make sure every bait has a split ring on it and you got to keep those split ring pliers close. So, sure. Uh, but by far, that's going to be it, it, your your least amount of failures is going to be with that snap there. Great. So. All right. Well, we appreciate everybody watching. I hope there's a couple of you that made it through the end of the video. We understand this isn't the most exciting stuff to talk about, John, but it's definitely an important stuff. Definitely. So if you're looking to get your hands on some Stealth Tackle, you can either shoot John a message over at StealthTackle.net. If you have any questions on you know anything in depth that we went here, you could also list anything that we... In the description, anything that you had questions on, you could list the questions in the descriptions and we'll try to catch any questions there because obviously we went through a bunch of information on a different a bunch of different stuff. So, or you can find your Stealth Tackle products at TeamRhinoOutdoors.com. Um, this is just part of our educational series. We call this Musky Fishing Basics. We have a few of these uh, few other videos out already. If you want, you can check those out. We'll link those also at the end of this video and we appreciate you watching. If you could, subscribe to our channel and ding the icon so that you get all of the notifications so that you can catch more of our videos. We'll hopefully put out as many of these videos as we can this summer. And we appreciate you watching. Hopefully we got some more musky action coming also this summer. Thank you. Thanks, guys.